Hello, everyone. How is it going? I don't have last week's results pulled up, but I assume Mook's in first, Asian's in second, Asian has the best record, I'm in third, Coon's in fourth. I'm in shambles. Also, also, Para missed the first half of the games last week. Yeah. <laughs> down and it's just empty. <laughs> The uh, standings, uh, I won last week. I've been having a good back did half you, of the did year. Did you actually take Mook Mo away from first? Uh, technically, no. I have five games up on him, but he's two points up. <laughs> Mook just yeah, places I... his confidence better. No, he piggybacked off me. What do you mean? I said I felt good about all these games last year. Oh, like, oh, didn't you? Didn't oh. you piggyback off of him because he made the switch to Miami? Yeah, first? I also. Yeah, didn't see shit. There's also the guy who goes, you know what? Asia is such a way of words. He always convinces me to switch. <laughs> he technically made it known that he was switching, but if you want to be real, Mook, I technically did switch to Miami first. You ready? You ready? You ready? We're we're gonna see if I can. Make did Miami it. even win? I didn't. Look, I didn't even look. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, my yeah. Cool. We're gonna see if I can make Mook switch. You ready? Hey, Mook. Hey, yeah, what's up? My my sixteen pointer has lost the last two weeks, and I mean it's looking like it's a good week to take the Jets, bro. I thought you were talking about the Chargers. I didn't. Uh, well, yeah, last week the, the Chargers were my sixteen pointer and they lost, and the week before Arizona was my sixteen pointer and they lost. So I'm good. I, I got pattern, this week, Tampa's my 16-pointer, so you should take the Jets. I'm good. I got I got a different 16-pointer. Damn, it, it, it didn't work, y'all. I tried. But barring uh, me and Moo completely shit in the bed and you and Kuhn taking the complete opposite of Mook and nailing on it, it looks like you and Kuhn are going to get third and fourth, and it's a it's a two-man race for first. A for effort. And then we got playoffs. I think we um, all get playoffs. Am I am I the only one that's gonna be on webcam tonight? I will not be on webcam tonight. Uh, yes, so. Oh, I will rock this on my own. Hey, <laughs> I did add a Discord command pipe. It's a real thing. I didn't plan for my ugly face. Um, fair enough. Anything y'all want to talk about that happened last week? I'm gonna be honest, I didn't pay too much attention for last it's week. Not really. COVID, I COVID mean... ramps everywhere. Thielen's out for the year. I'm sad. I'm ready to hit games whenever. I mean, th there is a couple big news. I don't know if y'all want to bring it up. Let's talk about them Cowboys. Oh, I was going to talk about uh, John Madden. Yeah, first. dude, John Madden dying, the originator of Madden. A true legend in the football world. You know, I don't want to say this, like... This is this is like one of those uh, Mandela effects. But I saw that news break on my head, like on my phone. I was like, for a split second, I was like, I'm not gonna lie. I thought John Madden was already dead. <laughs> well, I'm gonna be honest. I knew he was alive, but I only knew that because they were releasing the Madden documentary. Where is my beautiful Asian face? Ask him, Tayu. He said that he said that he's having like a bad it, hair day. It, it's up there. It's it's on the license and everything. That's my. <laughs> That's, that's my actual license. <laughs> that's amazing. That is amazing. <laughs> then then who, who's that Who's that handsome gentleman in the bottom left corner? Oh, that's our boring savior, Robin Ring. <laughs> I thought that was the man who played off the man. <laughs> that's who. Uh, well, yeah, um... The Madden news, um... Congrats oh. to Joe Burrow throwing 500 fucking yards against the fucking Ravens. With that, so now... Go ahead. I think. I was gonna say, with that said, I don't think he's throwing it again this week. <laughs> yeah, I mean, he might. That, that might be a shootout, dude. Yeah, dude, that, I actually see that game being a shootout. Dude, yeah, I, I would what? not be surprised if that game, at the end of the day, there was a thousand passing yards and ten, ten, and ten passing touchdowns. Oh, I wouldn't either. Pipe Coon has shared his face the first few weeks of podcast. They're on YouTube. Coon had his webcam on. I lost he even did too. the Google Boy for us once. Oh yeah! Now, uh, now five yeah. NFC teams have clinched, and only one AFC team has clinched. I did read somewhere. I'm not quite sure because I haven't really looked at records. But the Steelers control their own destiny if we went out. When you went out. 
I mean, it's a winnable um, game, that's for they sure. Play, they played the Brownies and the oh, Raven. More. Yep. The four interception round. Y'all. Alrighty. I mean, um, that's what I wanted to talk about. Yeah, the, the John Madden news was big. I don't really have any other news, man. Yeah, I didn't pay too, too, too much attention to football last week. I was kind of shambles. I was the because the Saints were in it. And then I, the second half, I was like, yeah, I'm, I don't want to. I was already beating Mook in fantasy, so I was. Douche. <laughs> so I was like, I'm not watching this. All right, well, we can hop into games. Give me one second. Oh, um, your time has expired. What? <laughs> if sure it... command, but there you Salvation. Go. I said you're so funny. I, fix the command. I know, it's dude. I should be a comedian. It's not really a permanent clear. thing. But... I should like Twitch stream. Probably a lot of followers or something. Oh yeah, actually. Streaming Twitch. Did, uh... Did y'all hear that Nick Foles came back on the, uh... Big Seattle? Dick Nick! The guy! <laughs> if Nick yeah, Foles Nick... plays for the Bears, or starts for oh, any yeah. football team, I'm picking that team. Oh, this man, is how it goes. Picking, you should be picking them to, to yeah, win this week. Yeah, I have anyway. to get in there and do it. I'll do it when I'm not in podcast. <laughs> nah! <laughs> with or without, whoever the Bears quarterback is this week, I'm pretty sure you should be picking the Bears. I'm pitching a tent! But Nick Foles, I did hear he uh, led against Seattle and uh, got the touchdown, the two extra points, I believe. This is a god. Fourth place, buddy. Nah, they're gonna win. Uh, but we're not there yet, so we don't need to talk about that game. I wouldn't want to talk about that game either if I'm choosing that. I'm choosing the winning team. <laughs> You all get over the heeb? Yes, I am ready whenever. Alright. Okay. Alright, the first game on the docket is the Atlanta Falcons going to the Buffalo Bills. And, uh, I put 14 on Buffalo. Atlanta's not a good team. They're going into the cold. They're an indoor team. I, I just don't like this recipe for Atlanta. They don't really have much left to play for this season. And, you know, the Patterson effect's starting to go away. Now they're just like the Atlanta Pats. Like, he's lost that many letters in his name. So I got 14 on Buffalo. Well, great minds think alike, because I, too, put 14 on the Bills. Uh, yeah, I mean, I, I thought the same thing. It's a it's a warm-weather team going probably into the cold in the middle of December. It's not going to blow well. Falcons have nothing to play for. Bills do, and... Uh, the Bills are just to make the playoffs, I believe. The Falcons have nothing to play for. <laughs> yeah, the Falcons have Asians bet to play for. That's what the Falcons have nothing to play for, and the Bills have a better roster. Well, great minds say like, because I put 14 on the Bills. <laughs> and you guys summarized this. <laughs> so. Well. With that being said, now hear me out, guys. <laughs> <laughs> nah, I, I, I took the Bills with 13. Mook, I need you to take an upset this week. We, we know, we know the Falcons can beat beat bad teams. They just they can't beat good ones, and the they've Bills beaten good some good ones. ones. I believe, like two. I don't know. I don't know about that one, Chief. What Buffalo beating good teams? No, the Atlanta. Oh. I'm pretty sure they've had like I'm pretty sure they've upset like two teams that are good. I don't know what I'm they're winning. Saying. They beat they beat they beat New Orleans once and we had Jameis. Yeah, that's not a good team. We had Dark Horse <laughs> MVP candidate Jameis Winston. Not Wizard. was never gonna be MVP. But yeah. <laughs> Dark Horse MVP. It was not gonna be MVP. Look, look, when we had Jameis, we were five and two and he was on track to be forty TDs, ten interceptions, sir. <laughs> Yeah, but he didn't. And he wasn't going to keep those numbers. Well, you know, you can't say that because he, he got I hurt. I just did. I will stand yeah, by it. I'm looking at the, the Falcons' schedule. I don't know what good team that they beat unless you can... Uh, 
Unless you count the Dolphins Ooh. as a good team. Oh, for sure. <laughs> that time oh. Not that hell, you know. I don't know. I think that was to put. I think that was the end of their seven-game losing streak. Yup. Um. They yeah, beat Jacksonville. Pretty... <laughs> I'm pretty sure you. Uh, know. They didn't beat any good Do teams. Do you have anything else you want to say about the Atlanta Falcons? I could have sworn um, they beat somebody. That must have been somebody else. Somehow, I hope they pull an upset off and they keep the bet interesting. I want the Falcons to win out. Fuck you. Fuck off. <laughs> so, 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 chat, the bet is if the Falcons win more games than the Vikings, I gotta eat a hot wing or something, something hot on stream. And, I, and, if, and if the Vikings do better, then Asian has to do that. And if they tie, we both have to do it. Oh. I'm terrible with spicy food. So I put all my faith that the Vikings aren't gonna let me down. And the best part is me and Muka sit here and watch. Either way. <laughs> Pie bet too. Let's not forget about the double pie bet. Yeah, we also have the pie bet. Yeah, yeah. Um, we're gonna we're gonna do the pie bet. It, it's gonna be a thing. <laughs> but moving on, the next game on here, the New York Football Giants are going to the Chicago Bears. Ah uh, yes. Oh, sorry. <laughs> go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go. Bro, they got Saquon Barkley. They got that quarterback. They got them wide receivers. <laughs> With that said, I'm playing eleven on the bear. <laughs> yeah, I put seven on the bears. I don't care who's starting for Chicago. Uh, the Giants are a are a fucking giant mess, and whether it's Fields or Big Dick Nick, Big Dick Nick. Or Andy Dalton. I think any of them are better than what the Giants have at quarterback right now. So yeah, seven on the Chicago Bears. Man, I can, I feel kind of stupid now. I put a low confidence on this. <laughs> I, I, I'm not fully sold in the Bears yet. I mean, they are playing their best football that they've. Yeah, because the Giants have shown us so much potential this year. I know, the Giants are awful, too. <laughs> I see them as battle of shits going against each other, and I had three confidence on the Bears. I honestly I wish I could go lower on the confidence on this. I have eight on the Bears. I don't like the Giants, but I do see a world because the Bears aren't very good that Saquon just runs all over them for some reason. But I have eight on the Bears. All right, the next game on here. Actually, a good one. Kansas City going to Cincinnati, and seeming that no one else has their camera on, I guess. I guess I'll do it. And Burrow, we trust. I put one point on the Bengals. I think they're hot, and uh, yeah, I know Kansas City's hot too. But if I'm gonna take an upset, this is one of the games I feel confident taking an upset in. And yeah, one point. On the Cincinnati Bungles at home. Oh, go next. I got five on the Chiefs. Uh, I, as much as I would love to take Burrow here, Cincinnati's known to play hot and then get really cold and then play like absolute trash. Oh, and oh. and Kansas City, well, they're 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 fucking very hot right now. They're probably on like what an eight win streak or something like that. And their defense is holding up, so I think Kansas City by five. Confidence. Yeah. <clears throat> Originally have the Chiefs down, but I need to catch Mook in points. He put five on the Chiefs. I originally had two on the Chiefs. I like the Chiefs better. I would, I would probably bet on the Chiefs, but... I need to make up that point differential <laughs> uh, one game. And this might be the game I have to do it on. So I will be switching to the Bengals for my two confident point and to be one up on Mook on the year. I put uh, six on the Chief. Uh, the Bengals, go Bengals are going to do what the Bengals do and just have that fire from one week and then just go out. 
That's what I do. So I've done all year almost. So. See, I, I feel that. I'm just ready to see it again and watch Mahomes throw for like over 500 alone and Burrow throw for like 200. No, I think this has got shootout written all over it. I, well, you know, I was going to say, Mahomes has done that. It was just only against the Raiders. The, the Oakland Raiders. Don't get me wrong, I'd like to see the Bengals win. I, I like the Bengals better than the Chiefs. Look, maybe I'm Not buying into the wise. hype too much, but that's why there's only one point on this if, game. If I can find a different game to switch to, I definitely am from Mook, but as of right now, this is the one game that I think I can get up on it as uh, only being three games in. Your way. Only being three games in so far, though, but there are other games that I can see switching, so. <laughs> Uh, yeah, the next game on the docket, the Miami Dolphins going to the Tennessee Titans. Uh, I might be crazy, but I put five on the Dolphins. I just... Tennessee got a good win last week, but I feel like they're just trying to hold off until Derrick Henry gets back. And Miami's been hot. They've won eight straight. It hadn't all been against good teams, but there's something to say for Tua being accurate and keeping that team in games and... I'm just I'm gonna ride the Dolphins train till they tell me not to ride it anymore. With that being said, I put four on Miami. And he pretty much said everything that needed to be said. In mook. I put seven on the Titans. I've been on the Titans all year pretty much. And they haven't let me down a whole whole lot. And I think Miami's flame is probably going to run out soon. And I think that this is one of those games where it's going to run out. Mook, how much did you put on this game? Four. I'm switching back to the Chiefs <laughs> as I already have the Titans winning with three confidence points. <laughs> <laughs> I think Miami's train's got to stop at some point, and I think eight is the number that it stops at against the Tennessee Titans. So wait, 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 wait. Did, did this Mook... Oh, yeah. Yeah, I, I, I put my head down in disappointment whenever Mook took the fucking Dolphins. I was hoping that he would take the Titans. Anyways, the next game, Las Vegas Raiders go into the Indianapolis Colts. I put 11 on Indy. Vegas is shaky. Indy's been very scary, very consistent, and they're at home. I like what I see out of the Colts. I just, I think that defense is nasty. I think they're like, they're undefeated whenever Jonathan Taylor gets 100 yards and the man normally gets 100 yards. I don't see a porous Raider defense stopping him, so I'm riding the Colts. I put 10 on the Colts. Uh, the Raiders are awful. They're doing what they do every year, and yeah. <laughs> I put 9 on the Colts. Oh, well, great minds think alike. As of right now, I have 9 on the Colts. Now, the confidence and the team might switch if the Colts have to play Sam Ellinger or whatever. Oh, oh. yeah, because... Carson is on COVID. I I mean, they, they supposedly reached out to Philip Rivers to come out of retirement for one week to play. Oh, no. Oh, not this. Oh, no. Dude, yeah, you tell me Philip Rivers, I, I might have to switch to Vegas. So, as of right now, I have the Colts, but that's a very loose set in stone pick. Right or now. at least I might have to, I might have to at least move the confidence on this game down because if Carson's not playing Bro, even with Phil Phil Sugar, he didn't have a bad season last year. He said he's not coming back. So they're starting a six round rookie quarterback or a six round draft pick quarterback, Sam Ellinger. They're starting the next yeah, you know, Tom I'll, Brady. I'll Let's go. Stick, I'll probably stick with yeah. the Colts either way and just imagine this is a Jonathan Taylor game. But I might, I'm definitely going to switch around the confidence. Here's the thing, if, if it is, I mean, they're going to stack the box. So I don't know how well, I, <laughs> for fantasy-wise, I'm hoping Carson Wentz doesn't play because I'm going up against Jonathan Taylor in the championship. <laughs> for fantasy-wise, I'm really hoping Carson Wentz doesn't play. I see. I do. I'm, 
Mm, I might make make a switch with the uh, the Bears and Giants game to like my confidence. I might switch those two around. God, dude, freaking COVID, man! I don't keep up with it enough. Mm, mm, I will start the next one off when you guys are ready. Uh, <laughs> all right, Jacksonville's going to New England. Man. If you're picking, if you're I don't really think there's too much we need to. Yeah, say. yeah if, you you better have a fucking exclusive take thing you want to start this next one. Off. <laughs> Jacksonville is the worst team in the fucking NFL right now. I have 16 on the Patriots. Uh, uh, Asian, you thought he was going to do it, didn't you? No, no. I just, I still don't believe. I, I know that they beat him, but I still don't believe Jacksonville's the worst team. Well, I, I can't, I gotta say, Houston beat San, beat the Chargers last week, so. <laughs> and Houston beat Jacksonville both times this year. I still, I still don't believe it. And they lost I, their coach. Oh my god, dude! Jack, got, Jacksonville got... is a complete mess. They lost Jack, uh, Robinson. And I still think they're, I still think their running backs better than Rex Burkhead. Same. What do you mean? He Cowboys is worse week. than a Florida team. Such slander from Mookers. <laughs> uh, but I got, I got twelve on New England. I feel like New England's got a solid plan and Jacksonville's a mess, and I don't want to talk about the Jaguars, so that's all I'm going to say. I got 15 on New England. Rip my boy, James Robinson. Gone but not forgotten. Um, and, uh, yeah, there's not much to say about Jacksonville. I, I couldn't even tell you who their starters are at this point in time. Trevor Lawrence. You. Uh, I put 15 on the Patriots. Uh, Mac Jones could throw for 15 yards and still beat this team. He might. He just might. <laughs> hang, on, hang on, hang on. Jacksonville beat Buffalo too. Yeah, who was on the? Yeah. Mac Jones could throw could throw for 12 yards, and they would still beat this team. <laughs> Yeah, there's not much to say about Jacksonville. That being said, I still believe Houston's the worst team. Well, I would, I would much rather have Jacksonville's roster as a head coach than Houston's roster. Oh, same here. Same. I just feel like I feel like somehow the Jaguars' coaching staff somehow managed to be worse than the Texans. I mean, huh? doesn't help that the hard carry got injured either. <laughs> All right, next game. We're the next game, I don't really want to talk about this game much either. Yeah, but, did uh, anyone not put 15 or 16 on this next game? I have 16 play? points yeah, on Tampa, the Jets. Tampa Bay's, go <laughs> Tampa Bay's going to play the New York Jets in New York. <laughs> I was, and I got 16 on Tom Brady. I was looking at these two games back to back. I was like, oh, so it's a coin flip between my 15 and 16. Who fucking cares? Yeah, 16 on Tom, Tom Brady. Exactly. That's what it I came down to. On uh, Tom Brady. I put sixteen on Brady. Anyway, moving on. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Philadelphia going to the Washington Football Team. I put uh, six on Philly. I just think Philly run. Philly has got an identity. They run the ball really well. Washington's beat my up. boy hurts. Yeah, your boy hurts. Uh, Washington's beat up. I would like the football team better, but I mean, I can't. I can't really say much. Uh, Philly, six points all the way. With that being said, I got 12 on the Eagles. Um, Philly is playing for a playoff spot, and Washington. I think they can still so make playoffs. Last week. Oh my god, they got fucking embarrassed. That's all I got to say. Eagles by 12, fucking confidence. I only put two on this game because both game and both teams have good weeks and bad weeks, really, uh, like really unpredictably. This is a division game. I like Philly more right now as it stands, and I think they should win this. But I only put two on it because the division. I love that Mook put 12 on this game. Because I am with Kuhn. I could see this game going either way. I chose Philadelphia with five points. 
Philly does have an identity. They do like to run the ball. Here's the thing. How effective are they going to be at running the ball if they have no running backs? Howard and Sanders got injured. They're going to be running with probably Boston Scott. I mean, I like Boston Scott, but, you know. Gainwell and Scott will be their running backs? Uh, probably. They'll be they'll be splitting the carries. Uh, Washington, they're, they're an up-and-down team. They're, you never know what kind of Washington team you're going to get. You could get the one that Gibson gets 30 touches for 100 yards and Heineke throws for 300 yards, or you're going to get the Washington that we saw last week. <laughs> yeah, against Dallas. I mean, who knows? But I, I'm with Kuna. I put low confidence on this. I do think the Eagles win, but I'm I'm not very confident in it. And I love the fact that Mook put 12 on this because if the Washington football team does, you know, does lose this, that's 12 points he ain't getting, and that's you know. <laughs> that's really different for me. I, do, I don't know how you can put 12 points on any game between two members of the NFC least. Washington's beat up. I understand. That. Uh, the next game on the docket: the Los Angeles Rams going to Baltimore. Um, um, I put I put eight on the Rams. I feel like the Rams are trending up. Baltimore's trending down. They've lost like four straight now, and I feel like the Rams are getting hot at the right time. So. Yeah, eight on the Rams. Aren't, aren't the Ravens without Lamar and the backup that they had? Huntley is hurt, yes. Are they also without Lamar still? Uh, Lamar is like a week-to-week thing, so I don't know. Yeah, I put nine on the Rams. The Ravens are trash. Fight me. But that being said, I put seven on the Rams. <laughs> and I do believe Lamar has a shot to play. He's projected to, to play, but he's still questionable. I am projecting this game as Lamar playing. That being said, I put six on the Rams. The Rams probably should have lost last week, but they found a way to win. Yeah, they should have lost. They threw, like, fucking three interceptions. Yeah, the Vikings say, just couldn't score for whatever reason. I don't they got know, really projecting lucky. upwards and, you know, getting hot. Like, the Rams, they, you know, they started off hot, but they've been really, sh- like, up and down, up and down, up and down, 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 up. You know, it's been, it's been a tough second half of the year for the Rams. Uh, that being said, even with Lamar Jackson, I still like the Rams. I only put six on the game. And I hear the Rams might be getting Cam Akers back. They I are getting. He is supposedly going to be active because the other back went on IR, I think. So Cam Akers will be fun to see. Um, The next game, the Denver Ponies going to the Los Angeles Chargers. They're going to pervert territory. Yeah, I, I put 13 on your on your boy Herbert pervert. I put five on the charges. Oh god, dude, am I gonna be riding these high points by myself? I put 13. I think the Chargers have a bounce back game. Uh, I just don't think Denver's gonna have the the offense to stop them, especially if Teddy's still out. I don't know if Teddy's planning on playing or not, but I like the Chargers a whole lot more than the than the Broncos. I put five on the charges because. Um, it's a division game. The Broncos can win through defense. And, uh, they're not really the worst team ever. They can, like, they win games that they should win. And that's why I've only put five on this. Especially after the Chargers choked one up to Tex- the Texans. I'm gonna, I'm gonna stay a little bit lower. No, to you, Mook. No, 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 after you. No, no, Alright, no, no, so no, Mook no. went with the Broncos for 16. I went with the Chargers for 14. Thank God you're higher than me. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You know... I went with the Chargers with six. The Broncos what? already... Ten? The Broncos already beat uh, the Chargers once this year. Uh, they can't do it again, right? I mean, they could, but we're going to hope they don't. I mean, here's my thing. They just came off an embarrassing loss with, to the Texans. I don't think they're going to lose twice, especially to, like, a not-so-good team. And I guess an in-division game and, you know, anything could happen. But thank all I'm going to say is thank God Mook went higher than I did. Thank God you all went higher than I did. Yeah. 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 I'm the highest on this. Um, the next nope, game. 
<laughs> highest, I'm the highest. Mook on 14. I'm just going to go past this next game because, like, I don't really want to talk about the Texans, and I know Kuhn and Mook want to talk about the game after. So here's well, going can... to San Fran, and I put 15 on San Fran. I put 11 on San Fran. The only thing I'm going to say is I think Trey Lance is starting. That's even better! Bill put 15 on San Fran. That's even better! Let's go! We're going to see Lance? Sir Lance a lot? I, I... The only reason why I'm not putting 15 is because it is Trey Lance and he could be a wild card. Who knows what kind of Trey Lance we're going to get. I put 13 on Sir Lance a lot. He's a god and he's about to kill the Texans. Yeah, I don't know about the Sir Lance a lot nickname. Sir Lance a lot, bro! Let's go! I'm just gonna throw that out there. I don't know about that one. Yeah, well, when he's fucking destroying the Texans, you're gonna be like, So much, so much! Kun, would you like to start the next game? Well, when they destroy the Texans, I hope it's Okay, wait, wait. Did everybody give their answer? 13 on the Niners, yeah. Okay, so let me finish for y'all go crazy. Mook, Kun, go off. Arizona at Dallas. Uh, Feel free. Kun, would you like to start? uh, Para did say he's picking the Texans to beat the Niners. A couple weeks ago, this would have been a much different view in my mind. <laughs> but the Cardinals are doing what they famously do. And sucking ass at the end of the season. But they clinched. We clinched. But we are not looking good. We're hurt. We're playing like ass. We lost to fucking Detroit. <laughs> fucking Detroit, guys! <laughs> That is your kryptonite. That, we, we almost beat the cult. But then we did it, though. And now we're going against Dallas, who came off an ass with against Washington. <laughs> they, they just fucking verbally and physically abused Washington. Washington had to go get some fucking therapy. And I, I think I'm about to have to get some therapy after this week. I only put three on my Cardinals. We can we can win this, obviously. But our team has to get our shit together really badly. Especially before playoff time. Oh my god. I feel you. So I went low confidence as well. I went uh I went the Cowboys with one confidence points. Um we saw an amazing game last week. If you're a Dallas fan, Dak looked Dak looked amazing. Our offense finally came back to life. I hope this isn't one of those things where it was like slump. We played Atlanta. We fucking popped. Let's go. Slump. I hope that's not what this is because that's what this could be. So, Asian, um, I, I could do you a favor after Moot gets done talking. And... <laughs> Even if our offense does go back into the slumps, I still think our defense can win the game. They like they've been carrying us this last four, the last yeah four wins we've had, like basically the whole season, and they're getting uh four turnovers per game, like the last three weeks. It's been ridiculous. So no, I think he's been riding that defense. He knows. <laughs> How many points did you put on it? One. You know, because well, this is a game I also see Dallas just, you know, choking away. The offense gets really cold again. And I'm like, oh, what the fuck? Because you almost beat the Colts. Mm-hmm. So, you know, th- th- there's obviously <laughs> one in there. Because I think the Colts are one of the best AFC teams in the in the AFC. But There's no life in me right now, game. though. Paraflyer said he thinks the cards win. The Cowboys fall all the way down to fourth place. The best time to win. <laughs> Cards are delusional. So I... First off, Mook said if I put 16 on the cards, he'll put 16 on the Cowboys. Oh, I will. <laughs> do it. Do uh, I, it. Didn't, I didn't do it, though. For me! I need the win. But, but I do I do think Dallas is gonna stick their chest out after beating down on a team in the NFC least, and uh, I put two on the Cardinals. I think the Cardinals bounce back and win. And oh, like God. I said, I think Dallas is gonna be cocky after beating one of the pitiful teams in their in their lowly ranked division. And I think Arizona is gonna surprise them. 
I hope. I don't know why are you talking shit. I might have vision when if the like, NFC leaves. The Giants can still make it. Mook. Hey, Mook, Mook, Mook. The Giants don't have a quarterback or even a roster completed. The yeah, the the, 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 the football the football team practically has a roster. <laughs> this yeah. is the reason why. Look, look, look. That is we real. could be like the worst division, and that's the Packers division. All right. That's not true. That is completely true. I disagree. I feel like that's a lot more of a competitive division. It has to be. And they have the Bears. They it both is. suck. The Bears aren't that bad anymore. And, the, and Minnesota plays to their opponent, even if it is Detroit. That's look, you know, it, that's, it is. Uh, you only got the Green Bay Packers in the division. It is to be pointed out that uh, if Arizona does win this game and Dallas falls, there's a good chance this could be the rematch in Wild Card Week. With Arizona going to Dallas again. Oh, we are away. Nice. Yeah, y'all are away where y'all do better. That's something at least. Uh, I'm actually kind of looking forward to this game. And out of, out of my low confidence points, I'm, I'm actually kind of most confident in this game. I have Dallas winning this with four confidence. Uh, How dare you. How dare you? It comes down to this. I like Dallas's offense just slightly, slightly <laughs> better. I like Cooper. Without like, Hopkins. I like Schultz. I like their two running backs. And I like the big play capability of their defense. And what, in my opinion, is going to come down to is whether Micah Parsons can shut down Kyler Murray and keep him contained. And I believe he can do that. I mean, we don't have a O line, so probably. I don't think this person so much to blitz like a lot of the time, like they did against Washington. More is they like a QB spy for Kyler Murray. At least that's what I would game plan for. But you know, I game plan like it's Madden. So, <laughs> <laughs> but I'm a, I'll, I'll, my low confidence. Games, I'm actually, this is the one I'm more confident in. I have four on the Cowboys. How dare you? You son of a bitch. Oh, listen, the Cardinals are collapsing in the second half, and the Cowboys... You are... need to get one up on... Hey, Mook. Yeah, I already have <laughs> things. You son of a bitch. You have it. This would not be the game I would try to 50-50 Mook on, either, because this is too much of a 50... Oh, no. Like I said, I like the Cowboys too much in this, for some reason. I can't believe I heard those words come out of your mouth. <laughs> These are the words I've been waiting for. You know, I never, never <laughs> thought I'd be relying on the Cowboys' defense in the championship game. Okay, let's move us on. Um, yeah, the next game. Oh, I get to talk about this next one. The Carolina Panthers going to the New Orleans Saints. Look, look we might have quarterback issues. We do not have as bad a quarterback issues as Carolina. I don't care if it's Ian Book, if it's Taysom Hill, if it's Trevor Simeon. I got three on the Saints. Who the fuck was that first? Who the fuck was that first name? Ian Book. That's who started the Monday Nighter. That was our rookie. Yeah. I have what the. F okay, who's starting at a quarterback? I'm only putting three on this game though. Oh yeah, yeah no, 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 no. I'm not, I'm not super confident. But, you know, I, I think Kamara will feast this game. And I, okay. I, I think New Orleans is least is a more... I think Sean Payton's got a more competent unit there than whatever the fuck's going on in Carolina because they don't even know what the fuck's going on in Carolina. I, I put three on my boys. I put four on the Saints. There's no C-Mac. There's no quarterback. There's no Panther team. That, that's what I'm saying. <laughs> Remember when they were three and one and everyone thought they were going to be something? Big boots, I 100% agree with that, Para. Ian Book really didn't get to practice. He just got a, got thrown in and was like, you're starting. Good luck, bud. I don't even know who the fuck that guy is. I didn't you know, know he started. We drafted, I think, in the third or fourth round of the draft. From Notre Dame, I he believe. Was our four, yeah, from Notre Dame, he was our fourth string quarterback. Yeah, I, I have no idea who he is. Well, he didn't have a good start. I can tell you that. He... I mean, like Martin, by the way, I, I don't care. The he Saints picked. are still winning that game. 
Darnold will throw So you're ball. telling me is that defense is about to get some more interceptions. Yeah. With that being said, I have six on the Saints. I just don't see a world where Carolina wins. See, see Agent, if you wanted to split, I'm going to be honest, this wouldn't be the worst one to split on. Are you kidding me? This is horrible to split on. <laughs> <laughs> He also had C Mac the first time. If Ian Brooke was starting, I would be going with Carolina. Here's the thing the Panthers are getting killed in the COVID protocols. They're going to be without their Pro Bowl outside linebacker. They're going to, uh, Hassan Riddick. They're going to be without their other outside linebacker, Brian Burns. They're going to be without two or three of their offensive linemen. I was just going to say, they and, beat New Orleans the first Sam time. Sam Darnold got killed. benched for big and soon Cam Noon. I don't want to hear about fucking Sam Darnold. <laughs> I was going to say, Darnold beat the Saints the first time, and, you know, we still... No, have no, no. no. Fucking C-Mac beat the Saints the first time, fucker. <laughs> I'm just saying, we still have I'm over this. Candidate. James this Winston. would be one of the worst <laughs> games to split on. I am surprised. I am the highest on the Saints, and I have only seven points on it. Uh, moving on. Detroit's going to Seattle. I put 10 points on Seattle. There's no way Russell Wilson's losing to the Lions. I'm sorry. It ain't that. Man. If it does happen, though, if it <laughs> does happen, I want to see Diablo's reaction. We got four. <laughs> Man, yeah, it was all the refs, bro. Yeah, oh, they get fucked on last play call, actually. Yeah, I know what? Great I minds of, think Para, alike. Para picked the lines. I, I, I approve of his pick. Great minds think alike because I got 10 on the Seahawks. My Seahawks fucking fly into victory. Can you shut baby. the fuck up like you yeah, actually like the Seahawks? Seahawks look like ass and it makes you mad. I put 12 on the Seahawks. Um... I don't know. I just don't think I don't think Detroit's gonna win. Yeah, I don't See, think they have much of a chance at all. Myself, I was supposed to shot at that number one pick, so I'm going with the Seahawks with 14. <laughs> uh, yeah. Next game is Minnesota going to Green Bay. I put nine on the Packers. I know Minnesota won the first time, but they're going to Green Bay. Adam Thielen it in there. They're kind of feels like to me <laughs> Minnesota's kind of reeled in the season. So, oh, yeah, oh, Rogers is Rogers MVP. I think I think Rogers is the MVP in the league right now. So, bro, I think Green Bay is about to fucking stomp the Vikings. Well, Vikings keep every game the, the the Vikings after that win last last time they played, they had somebody talking shit on the Packers. And I think Roger is about to come out and fucking dick all over them at home. You're telling me he's about to do what he did against the Bears. Yeah, he's gonna be like, I own you. I, own you. <laughs> I put eight on the Packers. Oh, I don't think the Vikings stand a chance. I think Roger is gonna come out pissed. Asian, would you like to go next? Uh, I don't like primetime Kirk. I have uh, thirteen on the Packers. Mm. Fair enough. Oh man. Well, oh. Wait, did you pick Mook? Uh, I have two on the Packers. I can see this being a game the Packers lose easily. They haven't been looking incredibly hot the last few games, but they've been pulling out the wins. Well, they may they may have looked really good at uh Baltimore, but they didn't look they didn't look good at at the Browns. And the only reason the Browns lost are is because Baker sucks. <laughs> That's so awful. <laughs> so with that being said, I, I have pat the Packers with two, but I might switch to Minnesota because <laughs> there is a little bit of delusion in me. And if Green Bay lose, this is a game I can see Green Bay losing very much. And if Dallas wins out and Green Bay loses one, that Dallas gets the number one seed. Oh my God! You're basing this pick off of Dallas's chances. <laughs> What is this, Mook? I told you there was delusion to this. This isn't delusion. This is just big dumb. <laughs> well, you know what? Oh, uh, my score was 35-28 Packers. Oh, mine's 69-22 Packers. <laughs> mine is who gives a fuck. It's going to be the Packers. Mine is 34 Vikings, 37 Packers. Mike 30, 30 to 24. Oh, Might man. switch. <laughs> uh, are you done, Mook? 
I'm, I'm done. <laughs> Asian, you can lead us on uh. the, the Monday night football game. The Cleveland Bakers going to the Pittsburgh. That would be the fucking Cleveland benched. Paris said, Paris said he took the Packers. He also said he put 16 on the Bakers. I only, I only put one on this game. It, if you want me to be realistic, it, it could go either way. You know what I mean? <laughs> that being said, it's Baker Mayfield. It's the Cleveland Browns. They fucking suck, so. <laughs> Super Bowl team, my fucking ass. They're not even going to. They're, they're, about, they, they're about to go fourth in the, in the division. Has a Ben Roethlisberger with a Pittsburgh offensive line that looks like a KV <laughs> team. And yet they're about to finish fourth. Get the fuck out of here with this Cleveland Baker Mayfield. <laughs> Fourth fucking place in the AFC North. Y'all can't even beat the Steelers when they're at the shittiest of their of their franchise. <laughs> I put one of the Steelers. That's <laughs> right. Other that Tommy fucking Maddox, that quarterback. <laughs> Asian, you want to um, score? It's gonna be a low twelve to fucking nine. No <laughs> touchdowns. I put I put one of the Steelers also. Eat me, chat. Um, yeah, the Browns aren't good. The Steelers aren't good, but they play good. <laughs> But the Browns are somehow worse. Yeah, yeah. The, the Browns have a like, talented roster and play bad. The Steelers have a roster and play good. That's just how it comes down to. I don't know how. I don't know how Big Ben is not playing some of these fucking guys when he's like seventy-five years old, using a fucking walking crutch and like throwing the ball with his pinky. I uh, the score I put twenty to seventeen is the Steelers normally score touch like at least a touchdown feels like so I don't know. <laughs> For a bad call, so it's gonna be a stomping Alabama QB. What did you do, Mook? Well, what, what, what do you mean? What did I do? Who did you take? Oh no, I, I was gonna let you go. I want to talk last here. I want to talk last. Oh, okay, okay. I'll just talk last. With that being said, I put eight on the Steelers. Oh. I, I can't fucking... I can't trust the Browns. I can't trust the Browns with fucking Baker Mayfield. I saw that man play Lamar Jackson at their worst. They threw, like, four interceptions apiece. And then they go to Green Bay, and they're like, let's put the ball in Baker's hands. He's only thrown three interceptions at the start of this game. And he's given the Packers twenty four points or uh, twenty one points already, but we'll keep giving it to him. Oh my God, I have eight with the fucking Steelers. It would be a twelve fifteen game, no touchdowns, just no goals. Well, well, y'all. Who who who? Dog pound. Who who who? You put <laughs> dog going with the fucking Browns. I put four on the Cleveland Bakers. With a final score of 17 to 14. Oh, I hope the fucking Browns win. They need the win. How do you have that much fucking talent on your roster and not win games? Imagine having that roster against our roster bragging about me. Like, oh yeah, we beat, we beat you guys again, but we lost to you guys at the earlier the year. Like, like I hope, like, I'm, I'm, I watch Browns games and I'm like, man, I hope they win with that fucking roster. But it, they it, don't. You know, it feels like roster's injured. It feels like for me. It is still got Steelers and Steelers have been injured all year also. <laughs> they lost like DJ Watt. They lost, like, did they lose Minka for a while, too? Like, I don't want to hear the excuse of injuries. This is a game that I, for all meaningless purpose, I probably should not take the Browns. There's a million There's teams that have dealt I'm with injuries. And... I'm, I'm, I'm taking the Browns. Go for and it. I, then the, the Browns are going to win this week. They're going to beat the Burrows. And they're going to win the AFC North. Nah, the Burrows will beat them because that will be their hot week. <laughs> Cincinnati's going to beat them. Oh, yeah. They, the first time they played them, they blew them out. Yeah, but that's, that's, because, it, that's because it wasn't a hot week for Burrow. Next week is a hot week for Burrow. Because this week's going to be a cold week. Well, Para, you could you could be <laughs> proud. I'm rooting on the dog pound with you. I ain't putting 16 on the dog pound. Mm. There ain't no way. <laughs> 
You know, mm -hmm. good old Brady's playing the Jets. He kind of owns them. Uh, Remember that year that the Steelers had a quarterback named Duck fucking Hodges as their quarterback? <laughs> Don't give me all Baker's injured. <sighs> Jesus Christ, we almost made the playoffs with Duck Hodges. <laughs> the Duck Man. <laughs> I, I said 17-14 brownies. Oh my god. Um, my high, my most... On the burrows, I we think. had a better record with Duck Hodges at quarterback than the Cleveland Browns do with... What they have right now. Uh, I put my most points on Tampa. My most my points is Chicago. Jacksonville! And my least points is Denver. Oh my god, I forgot to do this. Uh, least points, uh... Houston? <laughs> I don't think I'm going to pick on them again this week. Well, I'll go with the Jets. <laughs> I wanted to, but I was like, man, I, I'm not going to. I'm going to. Uh, most points, Chiefs. I do think it's going to be a shootout. A fair um, pick. I just think, ta I just think Tommy's about to, t about to stomp on the Jets. Uh, my most points are Green Bay. I think, I think that one will be a shootout. Cowboys. Actually, that that is my uh, shooter game of the week. The shoot game of the week. Sorry, I I completely spaced out on that one. Can you just say you thought it was gonna be a blowout? What? No, I said I could see the Vikings winning. Uh, I thought you said I thought I thought like you said you said it was gonna be a blowout. No, no, I said if. The Packers lose out and Dallas is, and Dallas wins out. Oh, you s th th that was probably so packed together that it sounded like blowout. Yeah. And my least <laughs> is Jacksonville. I think after throwing three pick sixes, they uh, they they don't get the touchdown. Uh, they don't get a touchdown. <laughs> well, I mean, Lawrence would have scored three, just not for his team. Like a true homie. <laughs> well, uh, not much to add to any of it. <laughs> um, Cardinals Cowboys game should be really fun to watch if I get it. Always a part of football. I don't want to hear about healthy roster. I'll say <laughs> this, and and it's no offense. Congrats to you and Dingo, but the fucking. The fucking fantasy is just coming down to who can avoid fucking COVID. My God, dude, my roster. If you would tell me that that roster makes a championship team at the beginning of the year, I would have laughed at everybody. Bro, I don't know how many points Coon can maybe tell me. I don't know how many points Ref put up last week, but his team looked like they came out pissed off that they lost. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. I didn't pay oh. too much attention. But yeah, injuries are part of football. Uh, the Browns probably wouldn't have as many injuries if they actually rested their players. I'll say that they've been—they're very bad about resting players. It seems like. I, I feel like Keenum should have started some weeks. I feel like they should let Baker get fully I mean, healthy. I had this I'm... conversation like Baker should have been getting fully healthy. Yeah, like I don't care if Baker wanted to go out on that field. I, like, I do feel like Baker's better than Keenum. I just feel like Baker trying to play through the injuries. Might cost the Browns their chance at a playoff spot. Mm -hmm. It oh, was injured. That defense is so stacked that it should have been able to do what the Steelers did when we had Doc Hodges and carry them to at least a 500 record. They also got running back stars yeah, they have, too. They have a 500 record right now. They're seven and seven. <laughs> are they? I thought they were one game below. Okay. They are seven and I. They. I believe they're seven and seven. They no, they're, seven, they're seven and eight. They're one game below. Oh, but teams handle injuries differently. The Browns don't handle injuries very well. I feel like they've handled injuries aside from Baker. No one will tell mm. that man, you don't need to play. The Browns is just a cursed franchise. <laughs> I'm taking the Browns. I, I'm riding that. Oh, yeah, they probably they should win, but like... So after Baker throws another four interceptions, oh. I feel like he might play ass back. There... <laughs> <laughs> and you, if you want to know what that is, it's there uh, is... whatever he gets. Is that what Mark Sanchez asked, was? <laughs> whatever he uh, asked to come back in the game, coach gonna say, "Hell no, get your ass back." <laughs> well, I... the Steelers are splitting these last two games. I mean, it's destiny that we go eight, eight, and one when, when it was the year that everyone said that you know this is gonna be Tomlin's year to not go five hundred. So. I uh, I do I do want I do want to I do want to add one more headline for we end, only because it cracks me up. 
Yes. Did y'all see the Stefan Diggs celebration where he told all the Patriots fans to shut the fuck up? I did not. <laughs> oh, did. dude, it was great. Was he, like, they they said something very, like, shitty to him, and his response was, like, he basically said, you shut like, the fuck up, you can you, hear it in the camera. You. Yeah, you, yeah. you, 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 shut the fuck up. <laughs> uh, also... Actually, the, the, there is other news. I don't know. Y'all probably don't care because it's Jacksonville. But uh, apparently they had care. four coaches come in for interviews, and I know two of them were Dan Quinn and Kellen Moore. To be but the not Freddie Kitchens. What the fuck is this? If, dude, if, y'all let, if, y'all, if, if you brag you about this Cowboys defense and you let Dan Quinn leave, that's just going to fucking run everything. Oh, no, no, no. I hope we... I hope we uh, you know what? I give that man full apologies. I hope we keep that man. He's, uh, a, he's not a good head coach. He's a good defensive coordinator. And that, I, you know, I agree. That's, I, I, all I, I really, that's all I really have for podcast, y'all. Yeah, I mean... I just I'm hope just Jacksonville saying. doesn't take Kellen Moore off our hands. At least not yet. I will say this about Baker, too. The reason why I don't like him is because I didn't like him in college, either. He was way too cocky in college, so... So, uh... I don't like Baker just because he hasn't shown me any, like, flashes of star potential in his career. Dude, I don't like Baker anymore. He's overall pick. I watched that man. Like, I don't, I don't hate him. I, like I said, I think he'll be an average quarterback in his era. I had that... I had to watch as that man threw the game away to the Packers. <laughs> no longer a Baker fan. Luke's and mad that they didn't help out his beloved Cowboys. <laughs> You're damn right. Like I, I didn't, I didn't think they could. And then Baker they showed gave you hope and pulled yeah, it away. Browns, Nick, T- Nick Chubb showed me that they could. Baker was like, <laughs> <laughs> "Gotcha." <laughs> fucking Baker's trash. The Mook fucking hates Baker with a Baker hate bone. <laughs> Well, the man has thrown intercept a lot of interceptions this season. I don't, I don't keep up with the Browns enough to know how many he's actually thrown. I saw I don't think he's that great. I can tell you he threw four in that uh, Green Bay game. He threw uh threw another uh four and when he played Lamar, I believe. They need help. Dude, he gets mad when I call his division the NFC least para. Cause we're not the worst. The Packers division is the worst. It's like, yes, the Cowboys are like 5-0 and in the NFC least, and 6-4 and when they're not playing the NFC least. Hey, it ain't my fault we're fucking whooping our division's ass. I mean, at least we have a fucking five, uh, a 500 team or more. Like, two, at least we have two more. Okay. I'm fucking up how I'm saying this. You are. At least we have two teams in that division that is 500 or better. Not for long. <laughs> what, are you saying Philly doesn't doesn't win that playoff spot? I'm saying one of those teams doesn't. <laughs> I'm not going to say which one because I don't fucking know. Well, well, well Dallas Philly, can't go Philly, under 500. Philly owns their own destiny. If Philly wins out... He only threw seven interceptions this year for that game. He well, four of them were against Baltimore as well. When when Baker starts playing bad, Para Baker plays fucking horrible. He's normally not that bad, but when he starts throwing the interceptions, they they come bad. <laughs> it, it's more he has bad games more than like like bad streaks. Ah, so Unless this week a streak has good team <laughs> all year, and that's the Patriots. It's funny that you bring that up. What about the Chargers? It's funny that you bring that up because Baker like has the Chargers. Thrown 13... I do like the Chargers. So before that game, Baker has thrown thirteen TDs and seven interceptions. I mean. That's not really the greatest. No, I'll say this, like... My team has been playing say, fucking good. What do you mean? Hella mid. I'll, I agree with that, too. I think they need one more year, but I think Herbert's the fucking future of the league. Bro, that's my I'll dude. Say, I'll say this. 
There's a case you can make that Herbert's the best quarterback in his division, and I don't regret saying that. He has potential to be the, like... Wait, what draft class is he part of? Like, who are the top guys, though? Uh, I was gonna say, because he, he even has potential to be top of his draft class. But, like... I think the char I think the Chargers as well as the Bengals part need need one more year to get some pieces in. I think they're very fun teams that can put up a lot of points, but I think in the playoffs they're like a team that could reach like round two and be out. But I I think this is this is my problem with the Cowboys, right? I feel like their way to win is to run the ball. And I feel like when they get into the playoffs, they're gonna turn into the pass happy Cowboys. That don't hand the ball off, and they're gonna get off of that cowboy roll script, and it's gonna fuck them. I just want to throw out my two cents with when it comes to QB of the future. I do like Herbert, and I hate to say this, but I think Burrow's better, and I think he's the QB of the future. I don't know. Uh, I, mean, I agree with that too. I, I, I think I think Herbert's more consistent. I think I like Herbert more. You you got you got the Bengals there, and like. He threw for 500. I didn't know this for the other day, but Big Ben threw two 500-yard games in yeah. his career. Okay. I was, I was about, <laughs> uh, somebody in the Steelers comment section put that. But, and the okay, kid, that's cute. Call, call me again when you can do it twice. But I'm looking at the stats. I didn't know Ben's actually having a better, better year than Baker Mayfield. Yeah, Ben's like slowly like I mean, under the radar having a better in some quarterbacks. It's not a good year. I'm not gonna say it's a good year, but it's better than some quarterback. Twenty touchdowns to eight interceptions compared to Baker's fifteen and eleven. Jesus. Freaking uh And it's only one game difference. Baker's only played one less game so far than Ben. Thirteen to fourteen. He just can't sling that bitch deep. That's it. <laughs> More passing yards per game, 217 to 240. Oh, yeah. I guess I don't hate Baker. I just think he's going to be average quarterback. I don't like the Browns because they can't win games with that roster. <laughs> I think he's overrated. I did not think he was worth the number one pick. I will say I... Uh... I thought the Browns were going to the AFC Championship this year. Yeah, I was really helping the Browns too, and then I realized that they Browns, suck. Browns. Thank, you, um, Browns. Thank you, Asian. Yes. And my Cowboys are having a good year this year. Mm. Oh my god. So, can I ask? It's 1 a.m. Are we doing hey, anything? Ba, 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 ba. I can't do it unless he's my controller is fucked. But y'all will be doing that without me. I was gonna say, I imagine we uh. Doing we'll... even with a broken controller. I'll no, it's say. legitimately I, I think... un unable yeah, to play that I game. I think it truly depends on where Dallas ends up if they're first round exits. I think if they end up in that four seed, they're first round exits. I mean, they could I be think... first round exits. Huh? I think they could be first round exits, but who cares? They made the playoffs. They had a good year. Uh, yeah, like I said, I think if if they're that fourth you. Team, they're first round exits, I think I do believe I think if they're the two or the three seed, it's gonna it's gonna depend on who they pull, because I do think there are teams that Dallas can beat in the playoffs. Like if they somehow pull Philly in the first round, I think they're gonna decimate them. I feel like the Cardinals are gonna die. Anyway, uh, I, I feel like if Dallas you know, plays. Then I feel like we could go to the bowl. But... Agree with you, Para. The NFC least. <sighs> Y'all are wrong. The yeah, NFC it. least. Are, 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 are the Vikings even a 500 team? Like, come on. When you ask their, when you get their fucking ratings, if the Vikings aren't a 500 team, Philly has a better record. Then the Minnesota Vikings. Luke, if we put if we put if we put the Vikings in your division and swapped out and swapped out like Philly, I'm sure they'd be in the same exact spot as Philly is. Yeah, <laughs> I'm just saying. Just saying. If we put the Bears in your division, I think they'd be in the same spot as the football team. Yes. <laughs> uh 
Okay, the last one's not even fair. We yeah. So there's a there's a reason why we say this. It's not because they're like. Just because they have good records doesn't mean, like, they played great competition. The least is better than it was last year. I'll say that. Oh my god, that division last year was awful. Hey, I, the, hey that was last year. Last year was terrible. Man, you, that, that was a year of, like, 11, 13 different quarterbacks for Man, our if you want team. me to be true, I, team, but, like, if, for you those want me to, if you want me to be real on what division you should be making your case on if you're trying to make a case, you should be looking at the AFC South. Because that fucking trash division has fucking Jacksonville and Houston in it. Yeah, but come on. Detroit, and I'm just saying. That division is worse. They have Detroit. I like legit. I think the Bears and the Vikings have just as good records if they're in your division. And the D and I think Detroit has just as good a record as the Giants. <laughs> but uh, yeah. Are we are we big Dunzo? Yeah, that's all for me. Cool, cool. Um. So am I am I playing Overwatch with Asian and Mookie? Hey y'all, thank y'all for watching. Bye. Oh,